Joe's work spotlight is on once a month, and uh, this month is on Friday, today. This month is at the Santa Fe Playhouse, where we all are. It has been at the uh, now defunct Club Bean. It has been at Warehouse 21. It has been at Rouge Cat, and I'm not sure where it's going to be next month, but there will be. Ah, the Aspen Cafe. So, it's a mobile operation. My name's Tom Forrest. I get to be your host for this particular edition. I also get to talk more than ordinary. Um, let's see now. First thing I'm going to say is about the cell phones. You all should know that. But, uh, it's David Brewer, the Dean of uh, Theater Peace. I just turned mine off. I'm usually the culprit, so we're going to not. So, yeah, if you got one of those devices, turn it off now. This is going to be a two-act venture. Uh, I think you have a program, so you'll be able to follow along just like me. I'm going to be interspersing, and I'm, that's why I'm actually doing this, because I'm a ham. I get to read some of my favorite stuff. I had a teacher when I was in high school. His name was George Cohn. He was an English teacher, and he was passionate about poetry. He not only taught the class, but he was able to impart his passion and his enthusiasm for the spoken word. And I picked it up. I'm very grateful to him because I, he was one of the people who shaped the course of my life. I love the spoken word. And my favorite poet happens to be Robert Frost. He speaks to me. Uh, this poem is from his last published work, which is called In the Clear, which uh, in 1962, I stole from the Queensboro I never stopped. <laughs> never got a chance to return it. <laughs> That's a confession of sorts. This is called The Draft Horse. With a lantern that wouldn't burn, into a trail of buggy we drove. Behind too heavy a horse, through a pitch dark, limitless grove. And a man came out of the trees took our horse by the head and, reaching back to his ribs, deliberately stabbed him dead. The ponderous piece went down with a crack of a broken shaft, and the night drew through the trees in one long, invidious draft. The most unquestioning pair that ever accepted fate, and the least disposed to ascribe any more than we had to to hate. We simply assumed that the man himself or someone he had to obey wanted us to get down and walk the rest of the way. Well, there's a start. <laughs> <laughs> I love Robert Frost because uh, he, he was a simple man and he was able to use words in a very simple and accessible way that go very, very, very deep. And also he's from New Hampshire, it's one of my favorite places in the world. Okay, the Follies is on, and we're very fortunate to have at the very beginning one Mr. Terry Peters, who is going to introduce us to Bully the Loose, who is going to sing Lonely and Wind as Bob <laughs> Dylan. Frost are three of my favorite philosophers. <laughs> so, I'm going to do Bullwinkle doing Bob Dylan doing Bob Frost. <laughs> Whose woods these are, I think I know. His house is in the village, though. You will not see me stopping here to watch his woods fill up with snow. <laughs> My little horse must think it queer to stop without a farmhouse near. Between the woods and frozen lake, the darkest evening of the year. He <laughs> gets his harness bells a shake to ask if there is some mistake. The only other sound is the sweep of easy wind and downy flake. 
The woods are lovely, dark indeed. But I have promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep. And miles to go before I sleep. <laughs>